do you still have the big bags? Like, for instance, a giant Logan bag. Are you still in your big bag era or are you in your small medium bag era? Let's talk about big bags today. Hello, my name is Andrea and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're not new. And thanks for joining me in the babe cave today. Yes, I am talking about big bags because I have a hard time grabbing them to go out. Just because I wonder if it's because I don't go to a nine to five job anymore or if I'm just not into the large size, I don't carry as much. I still have a decent amount of big large bags <laughs> that I haven't got rid of. <laughs> so I wanted to know if you all have gotten rid of your big bags. I'm going to show you the big bags I currently still have and there may be a couple for sale if you're interested. You can DM me on my Instagram AKB bags because I really don't grab these that often and a couple of these I really probably should just move along. So let's get started with this to me the Speedy 30 Louis Vuitton is a big bag. I can't imagine having the 35 or the 40 size. I mean maybe I don't even know if a 40 is like what a weekend getaway but these Speedy 30s are big and this was my first ever purchase for myself of a designer brand so it has sentimental reasons why I still have it and I occasionally pull it out but again it's just this is a 2002 uh, I believe is when this one was made and it is a made in France has the honey patina. I still love it. It's just a big bag. <laughs> then as the beginning, this is the Logan drawstring. And for some reason they called it small. This is nowhere near small. The quality and the Florentine leather and the color I picked is amazing, amazing quality and I paid like $118 for this. It was one of those I Love Dooney sales I believe and everybody and their brother was buying <laughs> because of how cheap you know they were at that time and here's the bottom of it. It doesn't have any feet on the bottom and this is the color Brown Tomorrow and I always wanted a bag in this color. It's like a dark chocolate. It's really rich looking leather. I mean, it, first of all, it's Florentine, and then the color on top of it, it is amazing. But it has this kind of thin strap, so I kind of wish that they would have made a thicker strap on these. But it has that gold-plated hardware. It has a front zip for your phone. It's just really big, and it has the suede at the top there with the red interior. It's really... A nice shoulder drop it's humongous <laughs> and I haven't been wearing them so I just wonder are are big bags going to come back are they coming back in your collection <laughs> so I may consider selling my Logan so I don't know for sure on that one but on to my next one let's talk about tote bags I got this pink lemonade coach outlet I forget a tote bag it's big but you can also at least carry these on road trips or you know for maybe you're going to the pool and you wanted to throw some towels inside or whatever but I still don't I don't reach for this bag ever and I love this color it is called pink lemonade and I don't want to get rid of it so I <laughs> I'm going to make myself use this pink lemonade this summer for sure. There's the bottom. It has a magnetic closure with the flowers inside. And I used this the 
stuffing I received one time in the mail, so I just used it for my my little tote from, I believe this is called the city tote. I'll put it up if I'm up here if I'm wrong. But yeah, I, I still love that they did the C's in this pink, darker pink with that light background. I feel like they should bring something like this back again because people went nuts and there was purples and a really pretty blue and this and a neon green. I'm surprised that they haven't brought these colors back or some form of them again. And if they do, and if they're smaller, I may consider it. But this one is amazing. This next one is definitely, I think, one I want to sell. And it's just a Daisy Rose tote. And all I use it for is a billion dust bags. <laughs> and when I sell bags for resale or, you know, if they're not working out for me, I have to go through this giant Daisy Rose tote to find the dust bag for it. And it just, it's a really good bag and I used it a lot of times when I did work at a job that, that I want to I want to get rid of it because <laughs> I just don't reach for it at all. And I have my other, which is the Neverfull. This is the same shape or same size as the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. So if you want this, it's in great condition. The straps are good. Uh, it has, <laughs> let me get through the dust bag. I'm not going to empty it unless you buy it. Here's where it says, I don't know if you're going to be able to see. It says Daisy Rose right there. It has a zipper pocket. If you are interested, I think I'm going to sell this one. The next one <clears throat> is a dupe for a garden party or mace bag. And this is leather. It is so soft. I have used it several times. No feet on the bottom. And this one does not come with a strap. I believe this was on Amazon years back. Maybe 2019 possibly. Has a silver button. So you have to carry it top handle. And it is very nice leather. I just never reach for it. It has these buttons that you can open up on each side. There's the bottom. It has a zipper pocket. I just don't ever reach for it. So I'm considering selling this as well. Here's the back side of it. Here's the other side. They look the same. Front and back look the same. I just added a twilly on the top. Um, but if you're interested in this, because it's a large tote bag for sure. If you're interested, let me know down below. The reason why I don't need the Daisy Rose tote is because I got the real thing. I got the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM and I rarely use this and I want to use it. <laughs> also, it's not for sale and I got a really good price on it on Fashion File. Again, it's a big tote. I hardly use it. I need to grab towards these totes. Sometimes I think I I have to fill them to capacity <laughs> to carry them. But really, does it matter what you put inside? I mean, you don't have to fill it up to here. Plus, your arm will fall off. So I have a problem with thinking that a big bag, you need to just overstuff it. Well, you don't. So I need to get out of that mind frame. <laughs> This is my Louis Vuitton Multicolor Speedy 30. Again, it's one of those big bags. And it's it's got some weight to it as because of all this hardware. This was my unicorn bag. I still love it. I rarely carry it. Carry it. <laughs> it's so beautiful. The printing, I won't get rid of it cuz it's a beautiful bag and if you haven't seen these in person you'll be amazed by the colors and the print and I just added my my coach charm with the Tom Wesselman I believe yeah lips and I love that I kind of love that with that so here's another big bag and my last big bag that I have was my most recent thrift find that 
I kept and I paid $17 for this Ralph Lauren Ashfield satchel. And these retail, or at least they did, for almost $500. And it's all leather, has this gorgeous detail braiding. And it has feet on the bottom, and then the braiding is on the back as well. Now, I have carried this. <laughs> so, are the big bags coming back? Because, one, I love the detail of this Ralph Lauren. <laughs> it is gorgeous. And it's kind of got the smooth leather. It has the handles. This one didn't come with the strap, but... It's big and I don't overfill it and I love this bag and the color is so, I tend to gravitate towards these brown caramel colors. So yeah, I just added, this is a next fashion chain. If you haven't checked out that video and this company you need to, I'll link down below. But another, yes, I got two, I had two. And uh, yeah, I love this one and it's a big satchel. So are you gravitating at all going back into these big bags? I also have, which also are big, are the Florentine satchel and I have a pebbled leather satchel up uh, right there, that blue one. And those are big too. They're the, used to be called small and now they're just called the satchel. So they're the regular sized. So yeah, I have some big bags. I need to figure out, am I ever gonna use them? A couple of them, like I said, are for probably gonna be listed on my Poshmark and Mercari. Cause I don't need this many totes. I don't need this many big bags anymore. Um, but I still, I really like them. <laughs> are you in the same boat as me? You, you don't carry them as much, but you still love them. <laughs> Let me know down below if I'm, am I alone on this deal? <laughs> For me, it's, I don't like super miniature bags either. And then I don't carry my big bags. So I need the in-between. <laughs> so anyway, I'm a, like a small medium bag person. <laughs> Let me know if I'm alone. Are you bringing these big bags back? Because back out of your collection... Have you bought any new ones recently? Let me know down below and uh, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, comment, and uh, yeah, if you like this video, it's a thumbs up for that and it's free to subscribe, so I really appreciate it. I have a goal this year to get to 2,000 subscribers, so I'm on my way and I appreciate all my new subscribers that have come join my channel. And until next time, though, I will talk to you soon. Bye.